What's up guys, DBK videos. I make military content put on the internet for you to enjoy if you want. And this is if you want. My social media links are in the description down below. Along with my Instagram, I highly suggest stalking me. I'm a handsome boy. Very handsome, would brighten up your uh, day scrolling past. However, today we're gonna talk about why the Navy needs a combat MMA program. So the Marine Corps has MCMAP, the Army has Army Combatives, Air Force, to my knowledge, does not have anything. But how important Learning the basics of fighting is for any branch of the military. One, extracurricular activity that would benefit everyone and with the Navy PFT guidelines, there's a lot of dudes on my base who are on FEP, whether that's just for failing their PFT or for failing their weigh-in. However, MMA and or just grappling, if you wanna do just like no gi jiu-jitsu on base, would fix both of those. I'm gonna show you guys a picture of me when I was 15. I did not lift weights. I did not lift weights and I was shredded as hell at 15. Why? Because I wrestled. I didn't lift weights, I just wrestled year round. I don't think there's a better exercise for you than wrestling. You get muscles in places there shouldn't be muscles. Have you ever seen someone's taint with a six pack? Then you haven't seen Yoel Romero. But nah, joking aside guys, how great would it be to have that option on base to go learn like the fundamentals of fighting and or the fundamentals of no gi jiu jitsu, meet up with your buddies, go settle differences. You know, you're talking down in the shop. Chief says, if you get all your work done by three, I'm gonna send you home and then you're there till eight. Settle it on the mat, right there. Save money. The gym I pay to go to in San Diego, I think charges me $100 a month. $100 a month, and that's normal in San Diego. Like, I'm not trying to be the next, next Conor McGregor. I just wanna beat up middle-aged women. <sighs> but if you bring it on base, you then solve a variety of problems. The weight problem, the fitness problem, giving guys something to take their anger out on, honing a valuable skill that would uphold the rest of your life. And then, once you start making your own program and you implement a program, you can then make a belt system like MCMAP. Because MCMAP, you start off as your web belt, then you go to tan, gray, green, brown, black, and then instructor tab. You, you, you can't tell me people, sailors in the military, do not want this. I know tons of sailors who want this. On my last underway on the ship, they rolled out jujitsu mats and everyone was rolling with each other. Everyone was down. A lot of people didn't know what they were doing, but everyone was down. Like we offer all these sports on base, like recreational basketball, softball. Some bases have like bowling and tennis. Why not? We spend so much money on weird stuff, just weird stuff. I know we can pay some like regular ass, maybe a brown belt instructor to come to our base and teach class. If you go to the local out in towns, there's some hole in the wall jujitsu places. There no, there's no way that guy's pulling in money. So you could probably give him a, a pretty low salary to just come on base and teach jujitsu and he'd probably be down with it. And he'd probably have great technique. There's just so many jujitsu gyms around San Diego right now that there's no way they're pulling in money unless they have like UFC fighters fighting for them. Say we have everything implemented, now we have three branches of service that have a combatives program and then we can do an armed forces like Bellator type tournament where you get uh, all the weight classes filled up, you do tournaments internally and then you can do a Bellator tournament towards the end to see who has the best fighter from each branch in each. Bruno! Say we build everything up and then you have a combatives program in each branch. Then you can hold internal like regional competitions to then build up a team. You can have like Navy West Coast, Navy East 7th Fleet, etc. And then they can fight at an all Navy MMA tournament. And then from that you can branch off kind of like Bellator does and have a tournament of branches for each weight class and then find out who's the best fighter from each branch. You guys make hella money off the Navy and Army football game every year. I know you do, there's advertisements, there's ticket sales. You're telling me someone wouldn't tune in to see like, the Navy MMA tournament 2019 or the Armed Forces blank blank combatives tournament. That would, it, it's a win-win for everyone. Give someone something for those to strive for. Gives someone something to strive for. Fixes our PFT problem. Gives us a source to relieve our anger. And it would probably generate the Navy a lot of revenue down the road if they do branch off to make tournaments that people can watch on TV. Just my two cents, guys. If you agree, please leave a like down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to favorite my videos so you can watch them back later in the future. All right.